What's going on, guys? Eric Allen, owner of Top Rated MMA. Hey, on this show, I actually had Chelsea Falder, who's fighting for the King of the Cage 115 pound title on February 24th. And there's even a special guest in the show, so check it out. The layers all exposed. Decaying has grown. the cracks are determined to show. There we go. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for taking time out of your day to talk with me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for having me on your show. Absolutely. So um, you're fighting Cynthia is it Arceo on the Fe okay. uh, February 24th for the King of the Cage 115 pound title. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Super exciting. I'm like thrilled to have the opportunity to be able to do it. Yeah. And I was looking at your record. Your record, uh, you've got a lot of submission wins. And she's got a lot of TKO wins. So how do you see this fight kind of playing out? Um, It's going to be a very exciting fight. Yeah. Really going to, I mean, really styles make matchups, you know, and yeah. it'll, it'll be very exciting. Both her and I are both like entertaining fighters. So yep. it'll be awesome. Yeah. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. I love King of the Cage. They put on the best show. So you're with a great promotion. So yeah, they are phenomenal promotion. Um, and you've got a fundraiser coming up here in a couple weeks. Can you tell me about the fundraiser? Um, I do. One of my sponsors, uh, the Hideout Restaurant and Bar, the owner of it, Heidi Edgar, is going to do a benefit for me. So oh, cool. on February 16th, yeah, she's opening up her uh, bar and having like all donations. Right now, they're basically... Um, doing like a 50 50 raffle so the whole entire community is getting behind it it's really it's turning into a huge event and it, like i'm kind of taken away by it because i didn't expect the community to get that involved but yep. every donate and baskets and wow. the raffle off so yeah and then all the proceeds go to me so oh that's awesome that is awesome yeah, awesome. yeah it's How, <laughs> how's training going is it going pretty good for you right now yeah, I I always train hard for my fights, but this this fight camp has been hands down like the best fight camp I've ever had in my entire career. So it's fight camp is spot on perfect. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, hey, a couple of years ago, our friends at Bluegrass MMA had awarded you the uh, it was an amateur fighter of the year or amateur fight of the year, right? Yes, I was up for both. Okay, um, and got. I took second place. It was very close on amateur fighter of the year. Yeah. Um, but I did win amateur fight of the year against uh, Roya Darvision. So. That's it. I watched that it was an amazing fight. Congratulations, yeah. by the way. Thank um, you. Did that fight, like winning that award, did that give you more confidence going into the rest of your, you know, going forward? Yeah, absolutely. Because I had, I really didn't see myself being, um, like, I don't know, I having a real bright future in MMA. So when I got awarded that, I was like, oh, okay. Like I do have, you know, more than what I thought, you know, yeah. originally. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What made you decide to get into in the first place and, you know, braver than I, thank you for getting in the cage. And so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I had, I had an uncle growing up that did karate and I okay. always, had a lot of like self-confidence and was just able to control himself he carried himself in a very um like confident manner sure. so I really looked up to that and I wanted I begged my parents to put me into some sort of martial art but they never would so once I graduated high school I was actually looking to join the Marine Corps okay. and I had a little bit of a weight issue at the time so I couldn't meet their height and weight requirements sure and uh, so I turned to MMA, and okay. yeah, what how I got into it. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, hey, uh, do you care rapid fire questions? Sure, <laughs> I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, <laughs> who's a fighter that you look up to? Chris Cyborg. Very nice. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Um, I'm not a movie person, but there's. I guess I would say Pearl Harbor. If there okay. was one movie sure. that I could. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite band or favorite type of music you like? Um, 
I'll listen to just about anything. <laughs> Sorry, hello, my hello. No, that's okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Back down. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting on her school parking lot okay. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, yeah, so favorite uh, music. I, I'll listen to anything. For pro I like to dance, so hip-hop. Okay. But I really do like reggae music, so the Dirty Heads are probably my favorite band. Very cool, very cool. Um, what's been your favorite moment in my career so far? Um, <laughs> probably my pro debut. Uh, okay. Although I got disqualified, it was uh, long story short, good versus evil, and good got the best of the evil. So okay, yeah. <laughs> very nice. That's awesome. Um, who inspires you the most? Um. My daughter, to be yeah. honest, is my biggest inspiration. That's awesome. That's awesome. How old is she? She is six. Okay. Well, I, my daughter's seven, and my son is four, so I totally get that age. It's yeah. a fun age. It is fun. Yeah. Um, and so my are, are pretty short, but I want to give you an opportunity to give a shout out to all your sponsors, too. Yeah, I have. Um, okay, so I can just list. Can I list them right now? Totally. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Awesome. I have. Saucy Sows, uh, Shore Chiropractic, and Shore Thing Wrestling, um, Buckeye Valley Appraisals, Tilt Enterprises, Grandma Falder, Shindle Wolf Express, American Carpet Cleaning, um, Fightopia Apparel, and then the Hideout Restaurant and Bar. That's awesome. That's a, that's a great list. <laughs> I really do. My, uh, my dad's girlfriend, Jenny Harshberger, has gotten me most of the sponsors, and she's the one that kind of set up this whole benefit with my sponsor, Heidi. So, okay. it's, and yeah, she's been phenomenal setting everything up. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Very cool. Well, again, just so much. Looking forward to seeing your hand raised next month, and uh, keep kicking butt, and we'll talk later. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have, Have a good day. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for checking out the show. Really appreciate it. Please give this video a like, share it, subscribe to the channel. Also check out topratedmma.com. Thank you for the support. Have an awesome day.